Hi, I'm Mr. Gaz. Uh, I'm going to do a quick overview of planetary orbits and uh, drawing ellipses, calculating eccentricities. That's coming up right now. Okay, here we have a s simulation of a, um, a planet orbiting around a star. So there's the star. Is that one of the foci? There's the planet right there. Uh, this is a pretty high eccentricity of 0 0.700. I'm going to get this thing going, and we're going to see the variation in orbital velocity there. Slowest there, speeds up fastest there, uh, slowest. So you see it's fast, it's going to be right fastest right there, and it's going to be slowest right there, okay, right along the major axis. And the reason is because the gravitational force is more when it's closest, so it causes it to go faster, and the further away, less gravitational force between the two, so it's slowest there. That's a key thing to know. Okay, let me show you uh, how to draw an ellipse. So, in this case, what I'm going to have, I'm going to put my pins here uh, at those points. So you, get, you need uh, two pins, and you need a looped piece of string. Okay, so it goes like that. Okay, and then what you do is you get your string, you put it over it like that, and you want to use a pencil for this. And then you go like this. Okay, I'm going to make this look kind of... Probably, you probably have a little more difficulty than I will. I've been doing this a lot. So, there we go. And then, that is your ellipse. So, it's kind of like oval. And what you have, these two things here, that's a focus, that's a focus. So, plural, they'll call, they're called uh, foci. We're interested in the distance there. Because what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the eccentricity, which measures how much an ellipse differs from a perfect circle. Okay, so distance between a foci divided by length of major axis. So the distance between the foci is, we're going to measure it in centimeters, and I go right there, and that is 1.5 centimeters. 1.5 centimeters. Okay, and then the length of the major axis. The major, the major axis is from here to here. That's the length of the major axis. So I'm going to measure that. Also in centimeters, put that right there. And put that right there. Actually, that happens to be exactly 20 in my case, so I will write it 20.0. Uh, it shows exactly that in centimeters. Now I'm going to do the math, and what you get is this. The centimeters will cancel out. Centimeter over centimeter is one. They cancel. And then I'll do the math here. And that is 1.5 divided by 20.0, and it is uh, 0 0.075. Okay, we well, usually want to express it to the thousandth, three decimal places, and that's actually what my calculator did, so I didn't have to round it. Now, um, that number is very close to zero, because it's uh, 0 0.075, which means it does not differ that much from a perfect circle. Okay, let's do another one here. Now what I did is the uh, I put my points further apart, so I'm going to use the same string, and what's going to happen here is this. I'm going to put one pin dead in the center there, and then I'm going to put the other pin right there. I'm going to get my loop string, and again with a pencil, and hopefully this comes through okay on the video, I'm going to draw an ellipse. Again, sometimes it's tricky to stay on the pins, you may have to go back and kind of redo it, or your pencil gets all weird. Again, I've done this a lot, so it probably won't be as easy as that. So. As you can see, this is uh, definitely less of a circle, definitely flatter, more squished. And let's uh, calculate the eccentricity here. So that's a focus, that's a focus. Uh, the formula is uh, on the reference table, eccentricity, distance between the foci divided by length of the major axis. So now I'm going to measure that right there, of the distance between the foci. I put that on there, and that is, uh, I'll say it's 8.3 centimeters. Eight 0.3 centimeters is my distance between the foci, and then the length of major axis. Major axis I'm measuring from from there to there. Okay, so what that is, that is going to be 13.4 uh, centimeters. 13.4 centimeters, and again, centimeter or centimeter, they cancel. So this number actually is has no units; it's just a ratio. And then I do 8.3 divided by 13.4. And I get that. Now, our usual form is that we round it to 1,003 decimal places. So, uh, it ends up being 0 0.619, uh, which is closer to 1. It's a higher number, which means it is less circular, and we'll say it's more elliptical.
Okay, a key point to this is with eccentricity, it's always a number between 0 and 1. So it's always a decimal number. And uh, eccentricity, I often say, is the um, measures how different the ellipse is from a perfect circle. So this, I drew a perfect circle, and the eccentricity of it would be 0. And you can see, I often say how a 0 looks like a perfect circle. So that helps. And if I move those pins so so far apart that I just went basically could just go back and forth with my uh, pencil in my string, I would get a straight line. And the eccentricity of a straight line is one basically. Um, and that can help you because that straight line looks like a one if you turned it this way. So that's one way to uh, help you remember that the eccentricity of a line is one, and of a perfect circle is zero. Okay, so now let's compare the two ellipses that we drew. Okay, this was the first one. Uh, I just went over it in blue. Eccentricity of 0 0.075, which is compared to the second one, where I moved the pins a little further apart, and that had an eccentricity of 0 0.619. So we would say uh, this is less elliptical, because that's a lower number, closer to 0. This one down here is more of an ellipse or more elliptical and you can tell because it has a higher eccentricity number closer to one which is the straight line so that is a key thing to uh, comparing elliptical orbits and elliptical shapes uh, using the eccentricity